Wow, he's climbing. Whoa, hermit crabs are really strong. Could you imagine climbing with your house on your back? Whoa. No luck, Seagull. A hermit crab brings his protection wherever he goes. Whoa! He picked off Picky! Come back here with our hermit crab friend! Get back here with Picky! Uh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. 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 Oh. Huh? Aha! Mine! Uh oh! Of course he's okay. Whew, he's protected by hermit crab powers. Did someone say hermit crab powers? Two creature power discs ready to go. Ooh. Thanks, Thanks Aviva. Aviva. Activate creature powers. <laughs> Uh, uh, where's the shell? What? Oh, no. No shell. I feel totally exposed. Uh, who's there? What's that? Not only did they get hermit crab power, they also got the hermit crab weakness. They're terrified without a shell. Aviva, why didn't you program a shell? Okay, guys, calm down. Remember, the shell is not a part of the hermit crab. You've just got to find a shell. That's what we've got to do. Find a shell. 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 Yeah! Seagull! Run! Seagull, run! Run! Seagull, run! Seagull, run! I may not have won this competition, but I know this. I can make a great power suit invention in the clutch. Now, if only I could get these to the brothers so the Wildcrats team could work the way it was meant to. <laughs> just the guys I was looking for. Our invention. Well, let's just say it didn't exactly soar. Yeah, and our creature adventure, let's just say it never took off either. So all bets are off? Deal? Deal. If we're gonna rescue Koki, we better do it the Wild Kratz way. And I've got just the thing. <gasps> Flying fish power! Now this is more like it. An invention by Aviva. To, to the, the Koki, Koki rescue! rescue! Reaching takeoff speed, 56 kilometers per hour. Let's do it! Flying fins, ready. Set for maximum lift. Tail power up to 70 swishes per second. Let's fly, fishies! Whoa! Whoa! Aviva, Aviva you, you did, did it! it. We're, We're flying, flying fish! fish. Well, the only way to move fast through this swamp is with otter powers. Hey, Aviva, any luck with the otter power suits? Perfect timing. Hot off the programming press. Send them, Jimmy. Gotcha. Teleport. Oops, forgot to turn it on. <laughs> Sorry, bros. It'll just take me a minute to power up. No problem, Jimmy. We've got time. Slider just found a new slide. <laughs> Actually, hurry up, Jimmy. If we had otter powers right now, we could slide like an otter with slider. Hey, is it just me or is that kind of bumpy for a mudslide? Uh, yeah. And that mudslide has eyes. <gasps> an alligator. Uh, Jimmy, now would be a good time to send those otter power discs. Zap it. Activate otter powers! Let's show this gator some otter pack defense. Have you ever seen an alligator before either, buddy? I mean, you've got to look out for these big reptiles. They're predators. Yeah, if they surprise you, they can catch you. 
Once you know an alligator's around, your awesome swimming powers can easily keep you away from those jaws. And once he's lost the element of surprise, the alligator gives up. He knows he can't get you. <laughs> Slider is totally clueless about how to survive in the swamp. <laughs> it's like he's not even from these parts. I know, but he must be. How else would he have gotten here? Come on, his family must be around here someplace. Let's find them. How are we going to fly Slider up north if he's afraid of all of our flying vehicles? What? <gasps> Animals have the answers. We'll pick up Slider and fly him home with, with Osprey, Osprey powers. powers. Activate creature, creature powers. powers. Okay, we're ready for takeoff. Hey, where'd Slider go? Uh, hmm, not sure. You mean he's missing? He could be anywhere. What if he went back into the water? It's full of predators. Don't worry, we'll find him. Good luck! See anything? Oh, not through that crazy glare coming off the water. You think of what I'm thinking, bro? Oh, yeah, I think so. Turn on anti-glare Osprey, Osprey Vision. Whoa! With Osprey Vision, you can see everything swimming in the water. There's Slider! I'll, I'll get him! I got him! Hey, how can we both have it? Uh, we can't. <laughs> you go ahead and grab him, dude. I insist. No, that's okay. After you. Really, you take the first turn. Swimmers before climbers. But we're both flyers now. Oh, okay. So you're terrified of machines, but you're fine flying with Osprey powers, huh? Well, let's take you home. Goodbye, Cypress Swamp! Hey, Martin. Ready to go dragonfly? Oh, yeah! Okay, let's see, where is it? Oh, where is it? Good thing I made a dragonfly power disc when you guys were teaching those baby crocodiles how to hunt. I'm ready, Chris. Let's do this, Swamp Dragon! Incoming dragon! Activate dragonfly power! <laughs> to the Tortuga Rescue! Hurry, guys! Getting chased by mosquitoes. Uh, it's all right, Jimmy. We're okay. As long as they don't get in. Uh, uh, huh? <gasps> nice grab, Swamp Dragon. Uh, sorry, buddy. That's got to be the worst mosquito you ever tasted. Okay, I'm ready to try it. Way to go, bro! On your left! Gotcha! Ah. Oh, no you don't! Uh-oh! There's a security breach! Huh? Oh, whoa. <gasps> oh, you little information sucker! You gotta hurry! They're getting inside! You've gotta stop them! We're trying, Koki, but there are so many! Guys, look out! <laughs> you can just give up right now, wild rats! My swarm of mosquito bots is unstoppable! <laughs> Your Tortuga can't hide from them! I programmed them to sense hot air coming from the ship engines! <laughs> Uh, Martin, aren't his ship's engines way hotter than ours? And smoke, way easier to detect. Well, I don't think Zach thought of that. Look! They're changing course. Looks like your mosquito bots like your ship better, Zach. Ah! Let's get out of here! The swarm is coming! No, stop! Stop! I'm your daddy! Leave my computers alone! No, stop! Huh. 
All clear! The swarm is gone! Wait! Now the swarm is gone! I dislike mosquito bots even more than real mosquitoes! Woo! We did it! Back to the swamp! Hey, wait for me! Yes, you are, Zach. I am not! Oh, yes, I'm not you are. I'm not hey, Timber. Thanks for warming us up. You know, you might have the warmest fur in the creature world. Yeah, but it's time to get going. Uh, bro, we're frozen under the ice. Uh-oh, and in here. But there must be air holes so the beaver can breathe. You're right. All we have to do is find an air hole, and then we're out. And then can we play hockey? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whoa, this beaver lodge really is an impenetrable fortress. And every air hole is too tiny for us to get through. I've got it. Beaver Power built this lodge, so Beaver Power can get us out. Hey, my Beaver Power disc is missing. Did you borrow it, bro? I don't think so. I can't find mine either. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> hey, I found mine. Oh, and yours. Why in the world did you put your creature disc in my boot? Oh. Let's get these beaver teeth chewing. Wow, awesome! See you, Twig. Bye, buddy. Goodbye, Timber. Later, Sticker. <laughs> Beaver Powers built this lodge, and Beaver Powers chewed us out. Hey, guys, come quick. Huh? Whoa. What in the world is that? Yo no sé, but I bet it's the same thing that blocked the hole in the ice. We'll never be able to tell what it is from way down here. Oh, sorry, team. I'm not having much luck in here. None of us are. We got to think of something else. I got it. <laughs> I know what animal would be great at hockey. You can do it! And I know an animal that would be great at goalie, too. Activate creature power! <laughs> animal powers aren't gonna help you, wild rat! <laughs> Come on, Mud! Over here, over here! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah! 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 Yay. Oh, my good shot! Way to go, Crate! <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> what? Yay, Mike! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! We won! We won! We won! We won! We won! <laughs> now we know which creatures have hockey powers. Thanks, Slider. And you too, Timber. What? Uh, -huh. uh mosquitoes? Aviva, we're looking for panthers. Exactly. But mosquitoes take blood from any animal, including panthers, right? Yeah. So, if you can find a mosquito carrying panther blood, it must have come from a nearby panther. Yeah. And if it matches the mother's blood, then we'll know that the nearby panther is one of her cubs. That just might work. Especially if we check those mosquitoes that only travel 90 meters in their whole lifetime. It'll get us closer for sure. Good luck. <laughs> Great Emerald Pondhawk, my favorite dragonfly. Blue Dasher, I love these guys. Activate Dragonfly Power! <laughs> to the Panther Cub Rescue! 
going on there, Skeeter? Who have you been biting? Accessing Aviva's database of blood types. Do we have a match? Raccoon, no dice. Thanks, buddy. Martin, I got this one. And gotcha. Opossum, cool creature, but not what we're looking for. Got to do the final check. Powerful legs for leaping and pouncing. Silent padded paws for stalking. Great sense of smell, hearing, and night vision. With incredible reflexes and speed. Don't forget sharp claws and teeth. I've got all the features that make this cat such an awesome predator. Ready to send, Jay-Z. And zap it! Let's do this. Whoa! Whoa. Activate! Mid-air transformations. Cub sitters reporting for duty. I'll do the cheek rubbing greeting. <laughs> That'll show them we're friendly. It's what the mom would do when she returns from a hunting trip. No. Ow! Okay, you've got a quick paw. So I'll name you SWAT. They look hungry, bro. Who knows how long it's been since they've eaten anything at all. We've got to get little SWAT and her brother something to eat. And to drink. What's wrong, girl? <gasps> Gator! <gasps> oh, don't! Don't! Help! Put out your retractable claws! Aha! In, out, in, out. Hurry! Ah. Uh, oh, sorry! Pause uh, one! Ah. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks. Uh, Martin, I could use a little help up here. Ah. <laughs> Ah! Hmm. You wait right here. Oh! Whoa, this is getting hairy. Hey, Martin. Here, kitty, kitty. Come on, big guy. Don't you want to catch a raccoon? Come on. Raccoons are an easy catch for a panther, especially when they're on the ground. Ah! Oh, no! We've got to figure out some way to get up there and fly with the Osprey. But we can't miniaturize any of our flying vehicles because the miniaturizer is out of power. If you can find a small flying creature and activate creature powers, you might come out small size and flying. That's a great idea, Viva. Brilliant. One of your best ever. They love any reason to activate creature powers. I'm okay with that, as long as it gets the key back. Okay, let's split up and look for any small flyer. And if you find one first, call me on the creature pod. Chris, I found a dragonfly. I found a hummingbird. Activate dragonfly power. So long, bro. We're small size. It worked. Let's fly. Ah! Whoa! <gasps> now we can activate our Osprey powers and find that key. Powers. What? Uh oh. See anything? Oh, not through that crazy glare coming off the water. Oh, that's good for me. You think of what I'm thinking, bro? Oh yeah, I think so. Turn on anti-glare osprey vision. 
Wow, now I can see everything from up here. Every fish, everything floating near the surface. Oh, we'll find that key in no time. This is definitely not good for me. Okay, Zack Fogg, time to get them out of my key finding way. Do what I told you to do, cut it down. Uh-oh. Oh no, Fluffy Flyer isn't ready to fly. <gasps> He'll fall right into the water and drown. Not if I can help it. To the creature to rescue! rescue! And now, I'll take care of the Zackbot. Talon grab! Uh. Oh, no! Thanks for the little fur sample, Jill. This'll help me make an opossum disc for the creature power suit. And pronto! I'm sure you have some amazing nighttime powers that will help us with our search, even though we don't exactly have time to find out what they are first. Chris, Martin, first one here gets to search with an opossum disc. Me, me, oh, me! Ooh, that's a tie. No way! Martin's not touching home base. Hey, he's got a point. Woohoo! Yes! Aw, that's a rip. But it doesn't matter. I've got two discs. Yes! <laughs> Just getting you here a little quicker. Activate, Activate opossum, opossum power. power. So my sight is definitely not the best. But I can smell. Whoa, can we ever? Possum smell and hearing is awesome. Follow the nose. <laughs> With you, bro. Let's see what the others are up to. So, we have zero clues about which way Martin went. Oh, this is much better. <laughs> That means we'll have to split up and search in different directions. I'll go north. East. South. West. Come on. First, let's choose our adventure vehicles. Or creature power. With that speed of flight and those sharp eyes, there's no better way to search than with Peregrine Falcon powers. Activate creature power. This is too good to be true. Almost forgot. Lockdown. Oh, I've got to find a way to break into that turtle ship, steal their technology, and all their inventions. I hope the Blue Brothers done kissing baby animals. <laughs> Yuck. Wow, Bandito really wants to go. Show a black-footed ferret a tunnel, <laughs> and he wants in. And now for the second part of our plan. Sneak through Zack's plane and rescue the black-footed ferrets. Activate black-footed black ferret powers. <laughs> Woohoo! We have black-footed ferret power now. To the creature rescue! Did you hear that? It's Zack. Follow that sound, we'll find our black-footed ferrets. And once that phase has been accomplished, I will release the robber bot into the Tortuga ventilation system. They will sneak through the tunnels, and all the while, the wild crats will not know where they are. <laughs> 
This is a very important critical stage of my master plan. Listen carefully, no interruptions. Let's move. These robber bots will search out close. the wild crat inventions and technology. I have programmed them to target these things. Miniaturizer, buzz bikes, cheetah racing thing, amphisome, butterfly okay. race team. Zapbot number five. Number Stick four, with us and we'll sneak five. you out of here. You. you will go in first and canvas the area for any icky, grouse cute animals. Save it till I'm finished. No interruptions. Come on, everybody, into the tunnels. Black-footed ferret style. Oh, I say, Lewis, what a beautiful extensive valley, rich and fertile. Yes, tis true, Clark, and such a large plentitude of majestic buffalo. Oh, yes, the buffalo is the prairie, and the prairie is the buffalo. What do you say we get a better look? What, ho? Oh? Oh, that's a fabulous idea. Activate Peregrine Falcon Tower! <laughs> oh, yes, a rich habitat indeed. The buffalo, pronghorn, and elk. And don't forget the little dogs of the prairies, and burrowing owls, and ferrets, and prairie wolves. Ah, Lewis, tis a good thing we have our creature power suits for this expedition. I'll say, Clark. Wait, Lewis and Clark never had creature power suits. Uh-oh, tis true! Whoa! They're waking up. Chris? Martin? Whoa, what a dream. I dreamed we were Lewis and Clark and saw what the prairie looked like 200 years ago. Me too. It was full of creatures back then, a lot like the African savanna. It was beautiful. Oof. Whoa, those Lewis and Clark dreams are intense. It's not an earthquake, it's a bison quake. Really? A dust bath now? I know dust baths help keep your skin clear of pesky flies. I may be pesky, but I'm not a fly. Guys, come in. The sooner the better with that disc. This ride is getting rougher, you know? Almost there, Chris. Just printing it out now. Get ready for some serious bison power, Martin. Martin, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Activate bison power. Whoa, I've never felt better. I'm big and tough and... Oops. Hey, what are you guys doing down there? Get up and let's move! Stop! Martin, easy! You're wrecking the place! Oh, <laughs> oops. Martin, get control of that bison power. I mean, bison are strong, but they're not clumsy. They're actually pretty graceful. Okay, I'm a bison. I'm strong, tough, and graceful. I can even leap two meters high like a wild bison can. Better? Better. I'm ready for anything. Ah, then get ready to get out here, pronto! Right, on my way. Faster than a bison stampede. Charge! Come on, hurry, Aviva. Team Croc is catching up. Listo, the alligator power programming is complete. Great. Uh, whoa! Uh, sorry about that. I think I'll just go for a walk around the alligator hole. Uh, Aviva, would you mind touching his tail? What? No, that's your department. Just pretend. Uh. Activate alligator powers! Now I'll go into the alligator hole. 
Because we're about the same size, we won't have any problems. Right, buddy? What are you talking about? Alligators of the same size usually get along okay. So, let's check out this hole you dug. Oh, hey, this is nice. Cool and fresh. <sighs> A nice place to get out of the sun and cool down. This alligator hole is also a refuge for all these other animals. Frogs, largemouth bass, soft-shell turtles. Ah! Oh, that's refreshing. We gotta get back to the Tortuga and fast. And I know just how to do it. Activate crocodile powers! Did you know crocodiles are faster swimmers than alligators? Think that's worth a point? I don't think Jimmy's keeping score right now. Alligators are faster runners than crocodiles. <laughs> and I love the way they enter the water, too. Hang on! Ah! Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and racing for Team Fast Feet, we have Aviva as the Mighty Thompson's Gazelle of Africa! And Chris as the Prairie Pronghorn from North America! Woohoo! Team, Team Fast, Fast Feet, Feet yeah! yeah! And on Team Predator, we have Koki representing the African Cheetah! And Martin as the Grey Wolf of Europe, North America, and Asia! Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Team Predator! Oh! Racers, start up your suits! Activate pronghorn power! Activate cheetah power! Ready to race! Get ready to eat my dust! Okay, as fast as you can from here to the relay station, then switch with your partner. On your marks, go, Chris! Woohoo! Come on, Koki, we got this! Get set, go! Oh! Oh! And they're off! Ha <laughs> ha! This is too easy! 150 kilometers per hour within seconds! See you, Chris! Hope my dust isn't too. Dusty! <laughs> a little dust never stopped me! Besides, this suit is even better than I thought. Oh, I can really hoof it! Even with the hang-up, Team Fast Feet is pulling through with pronghorn power! Deactivate! Go, Diva, go! Got it! Activate! <laughs> Uh-oh! Hurry, Koki! Here! Uh, uh. Activate wolf power! Oh, 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 oh! Better run, Aviva! Old Wolf Paw is right behind you! Thompson's Gazelle, top speed 76 kilometers per hour. Wolf, 61 kilometers per hour. The Gazelle is faster! Uh, don't worry, Viva. I'm in it for the long haul. Stamina is the wolf's game. Hey, for us, it's fun. But for creatures, running's about survival. You're either running to catch food, or you're running to avoid being food. Yeah, the prey are running from the predators, and the predators are running to catch the prey. But some runners are masters of speed, and for others, stamina rules. I know one thing, the cheetah has what it takes to run fast, but can't keep it up, the speed strategy. But wolves and other dogs like African wild dogs have what it takes to run slower, but for a long way. They try to run their prey to exhaustion, the stamina strategy. I could go for hours like this. Wolves will chase their prey for three kilometers, and they can go at a fast trot almost all day. Hmm. But your trot pace is about eight kilometers per hour. You'll have to do better than that to keep up with Aviva. Or Pacer, who must be still up ahead. Be patient. Patient? My brother. I think
think that sounds like an ooh ooh of a monkey. And that must be them cracking nuts. There must be a forest full of prairie monkeys over the hill. Huh? Oh! Oh! Huh? Ah! Jimmy! the prairie where the coyote tirelessly trots and wherever he goes the coyote knows all of his favorite spots hey where's he going maybe he's tired does tracker know something we don't <gasps> oh, yeah. do you feel that oh no not an earthquake first a twister now this well it's either an earthquake or <gasps> A bison stampede! Run! Okay, I admit it. Coyotes are smart. We're not gonna be able to outrun them. Any ideas? Yeah! Jump on! How do we do that without getting trampled? I got it! I'll use my MIK robot arm. <laughs> okay, you've even reel yourself in. Uh, yeah! Yeah! We all met up. Well, it would have been a lot easier if we'd all met up at the Prairie Rattlesnake. Huh? What are you what? talking about? I thought you said Prairie Wolf. I thought you said Prairie Chicken. I heard Prairie Dog. You, you never, never said, said Rattlesnake. Snake. Yeah, I did. Guys, we've got a bigger problem. Oh. Look what the twist it did to my poor Tortuga. And what is the stampede gonna do to it? And we'll be swept right past it on the backs of these bison. I've got an idea. We can use bison power to right the Tortuga, but we'll have to act fast. Activate bison power! To the Tortuga rescue! Adventure turned out just great. If you can make me a creature power disc from it, I'll fit right in and have the power of flight if I need to get out of here. Reverse teleport and zap it. Got it. We better hurry. Who knows what that bird will do if she comes back and finds a mini crap row in her nest. It says here that shrikes are the only predatory songbirds. And they sometimes catch things even bigger than themselves, like mice, lizards, voles, frogs, and even other birds. What? How? They're just cute little birdies. Well, one thing they have is a really tough, strong beak with a notch in it. While most raptors use strong clawed feet to catch their prey, the shrike's main weapon is that beak. Other than that, and their thorning behavior, they're just little songbirds through and through. I should be able to have this suit worked out in a chip. Ew! Jimmy, are these your snacks? Yup. If it's good enough for a shrike, it's good enough for me. Yum. Buffalo berry pie. The only thing I'm worried about is can you remember where you put all your snacks? A shrike has a great memory, remembering where all her food stashes are for months. No problem. I never forget where I put a piece of pepperoni pizza. Mm. Guys, it's done. Loggerhead shrike disc complete. Coming at you, Jimmy. And zap! The disc! Ah, just in time. Because here comes Mama Shrike! Activate longer head Shrike power! Uh-oh, I turned into a Shrike egg instead of an adult Shrike. Oh, of course. My other hand was touching the egg, so that's what I turned into. 
Hey, it's dark inside here. It kind of cramped. But at least it's warm. But since we're in the cloud forest habitat, it could be any one of these five. The mouse lemur, the golden bamboo lemur, the sportive lemur, the greater bamboo lemur, and the sampuna. We're gonna have to catch a lot of lemurs to find the one with a ring chip on his finger. And they climb, they run, they leap, they bounce. Lemurs aren't easy to catch. Hmm? Unless you have chameleon powers. Yeah, bro, we could use that tongue flapping power to catch lemurs and find the one with the ring chip on his finger. Aviva! Ugh, this can't be happening. We know how to get your ring chip back. Wait, did you put a lemur up to this? No, we didn't, honest. We don't know who that lemur was. But using chameleon powers to find him is the best plan available and the most fun. All you have to do is program chameleon powers for our power suits and we'll do the rest. All right, fine. What do you got? Get it? The chameleon tongue is a matrix of muscles that expands and contracts against a special collagen structure that launches the tongue like a spring. Listo! Chameleon power discs complete. Woohoo! Yeah! Wow, Aviva! Thanks! You're the inventiest inventor. Activate chameleon powers! This is awesome! <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? <laughs> Ow! I told you so! A malfunction like this is exactly why I was inventing the ring chip. Oh! Ah! The chameleon ah. programming is malfunctioned! <laughs> The tongue mechanism shoots out every time you open your mouth. Cool! Huh? Mm. But you guys don't have control of those tongues. Every time you open your mouths and talk, your chameleon tongues shoot out. We'll just keep our mouths closed then. Till we get the hang of it. To, to the, the Ring Chip Rescue! rescue! Okay, if that's chameleon speed, I'm worried. Only one bite left. Should I? Hmm. If I eat it now, then I'll be all out of food until they find me. But if I save it, then maybe I won't be so hungry later. Oh, who am I kidding? I've got to eat! <gasps> Hey, where'd my granola bar go? You, a Fusa cub. You look like you're only about four months old. Hey, but where's your mama? Over here. Martin. How'd you find me? <laughs> I just followed the Fusa, and she led me right to you. Like you said, it's a Fusa Palusa. We found them, bro. Yeah, ow, 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 ow. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Easy with those semi-retractable claws, buddy. <laughs> A key to climbing. Those sharp claws really grip onto the tree trunks. Ow! <laughs> but I'm not a tree trunk. <laughs> You're doing great, buddy. You'll be up in those trees in no time. Up in the trees? I almost forgot. Danita! She's stealing lemurs. We gotta stop her. What? But we're already late for Mother's Day. Right, so we gotta stop her fast. Any ideas? Ooh, I think the answer is right in front of your face. Of course, we've gotta be the Fusa! If your tree climbing skills can't stop Danita, nothing can. Fusa scan captured. Ready to send to Aviva. Aviva, we need Fusa power suits and pronto. On it. 
Okay, we're closing in on Zanita's position now. I'm close enough to get an image. There, another one. Get it, Dobio. <laughs> Fortunately, they're having trouble climbing after those lemurs. But the lemurs aren't used to pose being predators. They're used to fusas. They're not even running away. Almost there with the fusa suit, Aviva? Almost. Wow, what incredible ankles. Thanks. I have thought about being an ankle model. Not your ankles, Jimmy. The Fusas. Oh, yeah. Theirs are pretty nice, too. Pretty awesome. Check it out. It's one of their climbing secrets. They have special rotating ankles that let them move in more directions than most other ankles can. That's why they leap around and climb down trees head first so gracefully. Our ankles may not be able to do it, but with the creature power suits, anything's possible. Fusa discs ready, Koki. Hey, Jimmy, get those ankles of yours over to the teleporter. <laughs> I'm on it. And zap it. Oh, yes. right. What? No, wait. Those are our discs. Come on, bud, please. Don't break them before I even get to climb like a Fusa. Sifa. Sifa. <laughs> hey, nothing like a good lemur call to distract a Fusa. Good one. You've been practicing that lemur accent, haven't you? A little bit. Activate, Activate creature, creature power! To the lemur rescue! With Fusa power! Yeah. Oh. Woo! That was a close one. I thought you said there were no deadly venomous snakes in Madagascar. There aren't. Then how come I hear what sounds like a cobra hissing? And is it just me, or are we moving? <laughs> it's not a cobra hissing. It's a hissing cockroach. <laughs> a hissing cockroach is one of the loudest insects on the planet. He makes the hissing sound by blowing air out of his spiracles or breathing holes. And he led us right to a mouse lemur. <laughs> Aviva's gonna be so happy. And she was right. <laughs> mouse lemurs are so cute. Make that was cute. <laughs> I can't believe the mouse lemur is attacking that giant insect. Yeah, this is an epic battle in Miniland. <laughs> Uh oh. You know what we've just learned? Mouse lemurs are serious predators. And Madagascar is not so completely safe if you're mini sized. So let's take some advice from somebody who knows how to survive mini sized. A chameleon called Rokesia. Activate chameleon powers! Uh-oh. The transformation miniaturized us even more. <laughs> that could be a bad thing. <gasps> Quick, camouflage. I hope Martin's thinking what I'm thinking. I think Chris must be thinking what I'm thinking. We were back riding. riding. Hey, bro, we're riding a lemur again. Oh, yeah. Nothing stops us from completing a creature mission. have to figure out how to get back to the Tortuga in one piece! Wait, which finger is it again? Uno, dos, tres... Got it!
Find your baby to the oh, goblin, goblin rescue. rescue. Whoa, <laughs> these fingers feel as weird as they look, and they are quick. <laughs> and these ears turn like satellite dishes, and whoa, every sound is super loud. I can definitely hear that it's hollow in there. <gasps> and wait, I can hear something else. It sounds like <laughs> Jimmy, are you eating again? Oops, sorry. Wow, a primate with echolocation powers. Amazing. Don't worry, Mama G, we'll find him. Koki, I'm hearing a humming sound in some places. What is that? A humming sound? The fans! They keep the air moving through the shell! Gotta shut them off! Uh-oh! The shell's emergency shutoff is broken! Goblin, shoot it, remember? Guys, hurry! We gotta find him fast! Those fans are dangerous! We're on it! Over here! There's something down there, all right. Heading that way. <laughs> He's Goblin! Whoa! It's like having a power chisel for teeth. I'm through! Me too! Aye, aye, Finger! Don't fail us now! I can't feel him anywhere. I can't either. I've got something. Come here. Is it? Yes! yes! Yeah! <laughs> we did it! Yahoo! Way to go! All right. There's your mom, little guy. She was worried about you. Aww. Now that's a happy little goblin. Finally! I have finished the Sibaka programming for the lemur power suit. All right! Great! Hmm? A spiny chameleon? What is it doing on that strange train? That's heading for the river! <gasps> Stop that train! Chameleons can't swim! <laughs> <laughs> It's not stopping! Uh oh! We're going in! Hey, buddy. Let's get you back to the trees. Wait a minute. I can't put my finger on it, but I'm sensing a theme here. Hmm. Did this come from a kid's birthday party or a bakery? Not from a bakery, but it's still food, and Emmental is European cheese. And this might look like a remote control train, right? But when you break it apart, you find... <gasps> Gourmand! Of course! Gourmand's been distracting us with these things. He knows we'll save any creature in trouble that needs a rescue. When our backs were turned, he's been capturing the Safakas. We've got to activate lemur power and leap off. Find Gourmand and save our Safaka lemur friends. Oh no, they're gone. Bob, Lounger, Mrs. President, Fuzztop, all gone. Double oh no. We can't activate lemur powers because there are no lemurs to touch. And we just got here to Madagascar. We don't have any other creature power suits. Let's get our buzz bikes or some other vehicle so we can search for Gourmand. Back to the Tortuga. Let's go. Wait a second. I recognize that voice. But where's it coming from? I know how to find it. Engage audio locator. <gasps> Why 
bus stop! Oh, she must have fallen off Mrs. President's back when Gorman captured her. Okay, back to original plan. Activate, Activate lemur, lemur powers! <laughs> now let's rescue our lemur family. Here, why don't you guys take Fuzztop back to the Tortuga? Keep her safe there while we deal with Gourmand. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. She won't let go. She slipped off her mom once. She's not gonna let go again. Okay, changing plans. Why doesn't Fuzztop come with us and you guys go back to the Tortuga, get some vehicles so you can help us search for Gourmand? I'm on it. To the creature rescue! rescue! Vertical, clingy, and leaping. The coolest way to creature rescue. Ha! Hold it, bro. Look! Uh-oh. Gourmand must be planning a secret dinner tonight and raising a flag so his customers know where to find him. I've got a bad feeling that safakas are the endangered species on the menu. We've got to save our lemur family and fast! Hmm. Okay, it looks like they're ready. Tortuga HQ to Martin, come in. Martin here. I'm with one of the groups. Disc ready and looking for a way in. Whoa. I'll go in as a baby lemur. Wow, look at that little lemur hold on to mom's fur. She really has to cling on tight. Cling on, oh, that's what I'll call her. Okay, we'll call this troop, Troop Klingon. Troop Klingon, here I come. Activate Ringtail Lemur Power. Hey, Klingon, wanna play? <laughs> I'm in! Woohoo! Okay, Koki, what about Chris? Got him! And it looks like he got. Ah, a tamarind fruit. Ringtails have lots of different foods on their menu leaves, flowers, bark, sap, insects. But this just might be the lemur's favorite. I'll use this to get him within activation range. Here you go, buddy. Activate ring-tailed lemur power. Hey, Chris, wait, I need your troop name. Troop Tamarind, of course. Thanks. And I'll go in bearing gifts. Troop Tamarind it is. Get in there. New lemur in town. Hello, fellow lemurs. Tamarind fruits, anyone? Uh, is there a problem here? <laughs> oh, the lemur hierarchy, right. I forgot. And you must be the alpha female, the leader of the troop. Whoop. <laughs> I thought so. With lemurs, it's all about rank. If you're a higher rank than the next lemur, you get dibs on food, resting places, and, well, just about anything. Uh-oh. Ah! I guess I'm the lowest ranking lemur in the group. I'm the new guy. And with lemurs, it's the alpha female who's the most important one in the group. Wherever she goes, everyone else follows. And that means me too, if we're gonna solve this mystery. You done with this? Thanks. Gotta take what I can get. <laughs> well, that's lemurific timing. Activate lemur powers! We've gotta do something about these invading monkeys, buddy. Lemurs have all the abilities to compete with monkeys. They just have to be more aggressive. Hey, hold on! I'm gonna get 
gotcha. Ah, gotcha. Yes, you got one, Wild Kratz. Did you see that? We've got to put a stop to this. Madagascar is supposed to be a lemur sanctuary. I need a little help from your creature powers, if you don't mind. Activate chameleon powers! <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you, bud. Ready? Aim! Tongue flap! Gotcha! Nothing personal, but you belong in Indonesia, not Madagascar. I'll take the monkey. That's you! <laughs> Afusa! The ultimate lemur hunter! Wow! Hey. I bet Fusa powers can catch monkeys, too! Activate Fusa powers! Let's get him! All right, Spider Monkey! Consider that your last brachiation through the forests of Madagascar. Yeah, gotcha! Thanks for the help, Fusa, my friend. Another monkey ready for pickup. And here's another one. That's the last one. We've got them all now. All right. Half of the creature mission accomplished. Let's take these monkeys back to the Tortuga. And then we can help Koki and Jimmy rescue Goldpuff. Excuse me, anybody home? Hey, um, can you help us find a Tenrec? Oh, hey there, Goblin. Oh, ho, an II power disc. Hey, I bet my brother left that with you, didn't he? Activate II power! Look, another clue! Getting closer. Now, head east and let your finger lead you to the little beast. East, got it. Okay, so how would his finger lead us to a Tenrec? This is how, with her echolocation powers. If an eye eye can find insects hiding in hollow trees by tapping his finger like this and listening for the echo of something hiding inside, then I can use the same creature powers to search for a Tenrec hiding inside this log. Really? It's a hedgehog Tenrec! That's Tenrec number one! Congratulations! Yay! Yay! Yeah! He's searching through the leaf litter, looking for worms, insects, beetles, fruits, and... Ooh, he found a cockroach! Yum! Yuck! I'm not crazy about what he eats, but he sure is cute! Super cute! Here, cutie cute! <laughs> What's with the prickly fur? Protection. That's why he rolls up into a ball. He just becomes a ball of spines. And nobody likes to eat a mouthful of spines. Right, Spike Ball? Well, we're doing great. One ten wreck down, four more to go. Yep, this treasure hunt will be no problemo. Where's the next clue, Chris? Chris? I found another clue. Nice landing. Now that you're high in the trees, finding the next Tenrec should be a breeze. Now, where's that Tenrec? Here, Tenrec! Huh. Hmm. I don't see any Tenrecs up here. Oh, there you are! You're a Tenrec with a prehensile tail. A lesser long-tailed Tenrec! Oh, yeah! You got it, bro! 
But you gotta keep up with him. These guys are great in the trees. I am so ready. Activate Safaka lemur power. Hey, wait for me, you little leapster. I'll hit him off the pass. Whoa, buddy, slow down. He's cute. Look at those big hind feet. Yeah, and that's his key to being good in the trees. Big feet for getting a good footing on the branches. That and the prehensile tail. A grabby tail is pretty useful if you spend time in the trees. Just ask other animals that have them, like monkeys and chameleons. So if you're a tenrec that lives in the trees, you've got what you need. Wow, a tenrec with spines. One that lives underground. Another one in the trees. What's next? Chris? Chris? Activate Praying Mantis Power! Oh, yeah! To the Creature Rescue! Go get him! Let us go! Where are you taking us? Wow! Oh! Oh, huh? oh no! We're trapped! Let us out of here, Zack! I'm sorry I can't offer you a more comfortable room, but I'd be happy to shrink you down if it gets too cramped in there! <laughs> hey, Zack! How'd you like me to introduce you to Praying Mantis Power? Oh, great! More creature powers to bug me! Zackbots, get him! Oh, just like big beetles. I need bigger Zackbots. Zackbots, enlarge and get Mantis Martin. You're underestimating this creature power, Zack. Praying Mantis can eat bugs, birds, lizards, and mammals as big as they are. You can fly, but you can't hide! He's right there! He's camouflaged, you metalhead! He's right there! Praying mantis are full of surprises. Now give me back that mantis, Zack. Well then, try dealing with Zackbots that are bigger than you! Uh, much bigger! Hurry! Get him! Oh yeah? Uh-oh! Ah! Ah! Oh no! See? Machine powers are better than creature powers! Quick! Back to real size! <laughs> so much for Mantis Martin! You can't bug me with your puny bug powers anymore! Oh, but I can! Huh? What? And girl ah. praying mantis are much bigger than boys! Oh boy, girl praying mantis eat boy praying mantis! Uh, but we're good, Aviva, right? We're good? Oh, yeah, sure. But, Zack, we're not. Oh, no! I need bigger Zack box. Enlarge to giant size! Giant size! Giant size! Looking for this? Oh, give me that! It's mine! I just stole it from you! Huh? <laughs> huh? Ah! How's this? For girl power, Zack. Ah! Ah! Please don't eat me! Please don't eat me! Ew, gross! Of course not. But do you promise never to bother harmless animals ever again? Yeah, sure. Never again. Never ever again. Yeah, 
Yeah, right. Just get out of here, Zack. We gotta catch Jimmy before these guys do. Gular, thanks for dropping in. Activate Pelican Power! <laughs> to the Jimmy Rescue! Go, Chris, go! I'll keep them on the surface. Hang on, Koki. Okay, 14 meters. And scanning, scanning. Ooh, great pelican eyesight. And there! Dive! Oh, I've got him right where I want him. Corkscrew neck to the left to protect on impact. Huh? Oh, no! And scoop! Hey! Get me out of here! Woohoo! Yes! Nice catch, bro! Oh, so close! Just a quick water drain and we've got this game won! Please don't swallow me! Ow! Cut it out! Cut it out! Oh, no! Seagulls! They try to steal the pelican's catches all the time! Ow! Ooh. Ow! 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 Stop! I'm free! Uh-oh! Uh, maybe not. Uh, don't eat me! Uh-oh! Uh I don't have any controls! It's game over! Help! It's not game over yet, Jimmy! Gotcha! Woohoo! Jimmy, climb on! Jimmy? He's not in there! He fell out! Help! Somebody help me! I got him! Go, Chris, go! Oh, no, you don't. Everybody. And look, the sun hasn't even set yet. Okay, now is it game over? Yes, and I'm glad you won. Woohoo! We, we win! win! With Pelican Power and Dolphin Power! Now, can we get back to the Tortuga before something else tries to eat me? Sure, Jimmy, to the Tortuga HQ. But we can't just stand by and watch the amazing Dodo Bird become great, great, great 15 greats. Granddaddy Gourmand's lunch! And eventually, go extinct forever. Oh, if only we had a creature power from the past. A dragonfly! Of course! They've been around for about 300 million years. It just might work. Activate dragonfly power! <laughs> to the Dodo Bird Rescue! We can't stay here forever. The trampoline's energy field will start to break down, remember? They better get back here fast. Yo-ho-ho, -ho, I'll sail the seven seas, tasting all kinds of beasties. <laughs> now, you birds fatten up in here, especially you. <laughs> I'll set a course for home and be right back to cook you up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he can't talk to little Brainio like that. Brainio, great name, bro. Oh, yeah, thanks. People think dodos were stupid because they were friendly, but they're actually really smart birds. Okay, let's airlift them out of here. <sighs> Did you have to eat so many rocks? Hmm, if we could just... Get them into that boat! <gasps> oh no! Barry on the loose! <gasps> That's it! Okay, everybody, <laughs> just follow the Barry. Yes, it's working! Oh no, the boat is rocking! Wait, come back! That's right! No, not that way! The other way! Yeah, yeah, that way! Yes, that way! Go, Dodos, go! Follow that berry! It worked! Yeah! We have a boatload of Dodos! Boy, is great, 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 great. Oh, forget it. Granddaddy Gourmand guy gonna be surprised when he figures out the Dodos are gone. Uh-oh. But what's gonna stop him from just sailing back here and catching them again? 
You're right. This might not be enough to save the dodos from extinction. Hey, where are you going? You go ahead. I'll catch up. Oh, no problem. I'll just tow a boatload of dodos by myself. Okay, how about this? We try to teach them here first, and we see how it goes. If it doesn't work, we can take them back with us. Sounds, Sounds like, like a plan. plan. To the creature rescue! But whatever we decide to do, you know you'll have to activate... Tasmanian Tiger Power! Oh, oh, now that'll be a blast from the past. Never imagined we'd be doing this. Activate Tasmanian Tiger Power! Wow, awesome! Check out the tail. You can lean back, stand up, and look around. Yeah! Oh, these are the best. I feel like I could run forever. Huh? Ah, check out the yawn gape. Ah, I've got one too! Whoa! And I gave you each your own signature. Have a look at the stripes. A CK! An MK! You programmed our initials into our stripes! Wow! Thanks, Aviva! What we have to do now is teach these Tasmanian tigers to avoid humans and not to hunt sheep. Zack Bart, come! You do the jumping! And I will ride through time! <laughs> exactly like time travel at the moment, but now I can immediately steal the trampoline piece on this end, jump back with it, thus closing the time connection, and trapping the wild rats forever! But what fun would that be? First, I have to find Martin, Chris, and Aviva and tell them I'm going to trap them in time forever. I can't wait to see their faces! <laughs> I just told Taz, Mom, humans are dangerous, and we're gonna teach our whole family how to survive. Well, let's get started. You want something? 